Hello and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest 2A propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today, I want to tell you about a sailor getting the shaft from Hawaii 5 -0. Michael Santucci is commissioned as a lieutenant junior grade in the United States Navy and holds a top secret clearance. In July last year, Lieutenant Santucci applied for a gun permit from the Honolulu Police Department so he could legally bring guns he already owned to his new duty station. But the 5-0 denied him because he had visited a counselor at Tripler Army Medical Center and told them he was feeling depressed and homesick, which is pretty typical for young service members in a new place, but the lieutenant wasn't diagnosed with any sort of behavioral, emotional, or mental disorder. Nevertheless, HPD required Santucci to prove he was no longer affected by the disorder he never had with written certification from a psychologist or doctor. The problem is, U.S. governmental physicians, such as the Department of Defense personnel he saw at the Army Medical Center, are forbidden from writing such statements, and virtually all Hawaii doctors refuse to write the waivers the city requires because that's uh, pretty much not how psychiatry works, and the terms used in the statute include antiquated diagnoses which aren't even made in the modern day. So, Santucci filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court on 2nd and 14th Amendment grounds. If you would like to help Lieutenant Santucci or our other brothers and sisters in Hawaii, please consider donating to the Hawaii Firearms Coalition. Hopefully, he sticks it to the man because Hawaii has literally the worst gun laws in the nation. Laws like this are especially stupid because they discourage people from getting the treatment they need. Would you rather allow a person to have a gun if they conceal their mental illness, or would you prefer they seek treatment? Do you really trust police officers to make mental health decisions? So you bought some nods and now you're ready to rock, right? You knew you needed training to run that rifle like a chad, so why should night vision be any different? TNVC.com is your source for the night fighter training you need to be effective. A few days ago, we reported on the new rules President Poopy Pants announced to crack down on Spooky Boys. Bottom line is, not much is really changing, and they're mostly just going after complete buy, build, shoot type kits that include 80% lower, jig, tools, and everything you would need to complete a firearm. But the Alabama legislature is already out front by passing their own version of Second Amendment Sanctuary Bill, SB2, which is intended to prevent the state and local cops from being used to enforce federal laws and presidential decrees. It is expected to be signed by Governor Ivey. But on the other hand, Illinois politicritters annoyingly went the other direction, quietly passing HB 4383 in the wee hours of the morning. HB 4383 will ban homemade guns and, depending on interpretation, might also ban SIG P320 fire control assemblies and AR uppers without serial numbers. Sponsored by a drunkard with multiple DUI convictions, HB 4383 is pretty near guaranteed to be signed by this prick, but that's no reason not to call Governor Prickser at 217-782-0244 and tell him that's the reason you'll be campaigning for his opposition in the next primary. The list of states with permitless carry laws grows larger every day. And Leon's getting larger. With Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signing SB 319 into law last Tuesday, Georgia became the 25th state and the NRA rushed in to claim credit. But Nebraska politicritters remain obstinately rooted in the past, killing their own permitless carry bill by filibuster. Supporters fell just two votes short of the 33 votes they needed to override the filibuster, and now we'll have to wait until next year for another chance for freedom in Nebraska. The Associate Press is reporting Germany plans to confiscate guns from political dissidents while the Ukrainian crisis has spurred Germany to build up its armed forces. Hey, hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. And French President Emmanuel Macaroni said he doesn't believe in the human right of self-defense in comments he made regarding a farmer who defended himself with a rifle against robbers. Macron said, and I quote, I am opposed to self-defense. 
It's very clear and indisputable because otherwise the country becomes the Wild West. And I don't want a country where weapons proliferate and where we consider that it's up to the citizens to defend themselves. The farmer was not indicted by police. And by the way, the Wild West never actually existed. Finally, your moment of zen. So you're going to tell me that you don't have no black cats, no Roman candles or screaming memes? No. Oh, come on, man. You don't got no lady fingers, buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doodahs, or crap flappers? No. Hey friend, do you like pews and pew related things? Do you want to help us keep delivering you pure uncut American pew propaganda at the low, low price of free 99? We literally couldn't make this show if it weren't for the generous support of TNVC.com, purveyors of the finest non-GMO night vision devices handcrafted from fine Corinthian leather in the old world style. They also have mounts, lights, training, swag, and all sorts of other non-GMO gear to make you the bump of the night. And remember, if you aren't subscribed to our channel, you make puppies cry and Captain America is disappointed. I love you.